all hoping for a peaceful community and a peaceful Connecticut, but what are we really doing to promote that? We're going to find out. The Peace Center of Connecticut is helping to take those steps, and we're happy to be joined by the president and CEO, Erin Nazario, who joins us along with peace hero Irene Kish. Welcome both of you here to CT Style. Oh, thank you thank for you. having us. Absolutely. So how did the Peace Center get started? So it started from an actual concept that I had in my mind about how can I uh, make folks around the state of Connecticut collectively work together on peace. So a funny story, I'm leaving a meeting where individuals are working together and I look up to the sky and I say, I wish that we had a Batman signal for the state of Connecticut. Mm where once that illuminated the sky, everyone that's working for peace or nonviolence will get together and actually solve that issue. And right from there, the concept started kind of working in my head. I started writing about it, and I started looking at what is necessary and needed in the state, and I thought a peace center would be that space where we can collectively work on solving the issues yeah. around the state of Connecticut. So is this a physical space? Is it an idea of bringing a community together to work with you? How, how does it's it all work? It's actually both. both. Uh, so we do have a physical space where uh, 157 Charter Oak Avenue in the city of Hartford, and and through that space, we uh, host other organizations and other events that support peace around the state of Connecticut. And uh, one of the things that we're doing this year, uh, we had our inaugural group last year, was honoring peace heroes from different communities around uh, the state of Connecticut to ensure that people understand that a peace hero lives in your community. Uh, and that's, again, uh, how we kind of do the, the job that we do at the Peace Center. And Irene, you are a peace hero. Irene has fostered more than 100 children. That's incredible. In mm. Incredible wow. work. How, how has peace become a part of your life? Or how have you helped to foster it? Well, I think that, you know, these children come from trauma. I mean, just being, you know, taken away from their parents. So I think being in a comfortable you know, setting and, um, you know, having my own children there with them, um, I think it brings them some kind of peace. I try to work with those biological families to get those kids back, and I think that also makes them feel more comfortable knowing that they have can have a relationship with their parents and myself. Yeah. So I think it works really nicely. And how did you find Irene? Well, what, one of the things that we do at the Peace Center is we look at individuals across the state that are doing great work for peace. And I started doing some research. We had some criteria, and then one of our board members said, have you noticed this person? I said, well, I actually haven't. I started looking at previous interviews and things in the newspaper, and I was like, as a former father, foster child myself, I, I, re I recognize the pause and the break that, um, that a, someone as a, that's a foster parent can provide for you when you're going through trauma. Mm. I, I, once I heard of the number of young people that she has wow. fostered, yeah. I said there's no possible way that this person is not a hero because she would have been a hero in my life yeah. and, and my person that was stepped in for me was a hero for me. So I uh, reached out to her and went to her home and gave her the, the news and she literally fell apart on Aww. me. Almost and also said asked no. if I could give it back. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, that's how we connected, and uh, I'm thrilled and honored. I'm getting, getting to know uh, Irene more and more as we uh, as yeah. we connect, and, and there's no uh, greater person that um, that can receive this Aww. award that deserves it. And you're going to be honoring the Peace Heroes. Yeah. You have a gala scheduled for April 25th. Yes. How do we get tickets? So you can go on our website, peacecenterofct.org, okay. peacecenterofct.org, or any social media outlets, Peace Center of Connecticut. You can find our information there and buy tickets. Um, we're looking for folks that want to also sponsor, if folks are interested in sponsoring in the event or donating towards the event, we'd, we'd like to hear from them as well. Yeah. Well, it's right, an incredible it's organization. Goal, right? yeah. and Peaceful Connecticut. Yeah. And Irene, thank you for all the wonderful work that you've done here in the You're state. You're very welcome. Making I really enjoy myself. Yeah. It really gives me peace myself to know sure. because the children that I take care of are medically complex. Yeah. So they have lots of, you know, issues, lots of doctor's appointments. Well, thank lots goodness of... you're here, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. She's a real hero. Yes, she is. Yeah. And, right, and I'm you. honored to be here. Well, thank you. Guys. Peace Center of CT.org. Find more information there and stay with us. More CT Style coming up after the break.